those gunshots really like shook me up because I've never heard good sh gunshots before in my life. Mm -hmm. So, what was it? After learning about this, my dad and I we talked about it uh, during dinner, and I thought it'd be really cool if, um, to find out more about this. So, hope you do. Okay, so the pop the the okay. New Jersey never had this problem before in the early 19th in the early uh, 1900s. Deer were actually extinct and were on the extinction list. It wasn't until the early 20th century when it became a huge problem because one one of the problems was because we're cutting down woods and building up for more construction and apartments and condos that you see popping up everywhere. And also, we have no natural predators predators in New Jersey. Some of the main predators for deer are cougars, coyotes, bears, uh, I think wolves too. And we don't have any of those in New Jersey because they've all extinct or gone. But um, what else? Um, some of the three main problems that deer that deer um, that deer are in the community is. One, they damage landscapes, meaning like parks and gardens, they ruin all the plants. And also a big, bigger issue is motor vehicle accidents. And I actually have um, statistics from the, the Star Ledger about it. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration estimates 1.5 million car accidents nationwide each year involving deer, involving deer, resulting in $1 billion in damage. Over 150 people are killed and 10,000 are injured in those accidents. And one thing that I found really interesting too is New Jersey is a medium risk area for hitting deer. Meaning, like we don't have a lot, we don't have a lot of deer where it's become a serious problem, or we don't have too little. We're just stick straight in the middle. Um, what else? And some of the ways that they're trying to do to prevent roadside accidents is you might see them too. They have like along the roads they have these little long like stick things and they have reflectors on it to prevent to kind of scare the deer from having them go on the road and causing more accidents and lastly like i said before it causes an ecological imbalance since there's no predators there's not not really a balance into like into the their habitat Um, also, I thought it'd be pretty cool. Some of their favorite foods that you might want to look out for too, whether you find in your mom's gardens or your grandparents' gardens, um, they they really like shrubs and flowers, mostly hydrangeas and lilacs, and tulips and sunflowers. Um, also, along that come, also some of the uh, other than physical damage, it also causes health concerns too for us people. Um, some of the health officials are, um, are, uh, well, some health officials worry about diseases spreading, including ticks. Um, mostly ticks, they're famous for Lyme disease, which is um, an inflammatory disease caused by tick bites. And some of the symptoms are fever, rashes that are like almost like a bullseye kind of looking, and they also cause headaches. Also, there's this new and overexposing in parks, exposing young children. Deer like to go into uh, parks a lot, so like ticks go off there, and like young children go out to play, so they might get them too. Um, also, what people are starting to uh, realize is deer, um, deer fly fever. It's also called rabbit fever too. It's a transmission bacteria called Tularema, also known as rabbit fever. It's highly infectious by animals. And some one of the solutions why communities are doing to solve this. Deer population growth is hunting. <laughs> uh, what is it? So the rules for hunting is it has a, you have to have your license displayed on the back of your jacket, and you're not you're only allowed to use three weapons: the bow, shotgun, or rifle. And the season that you're only allowed to hunt is from September to January, but also May and June when deer breeding is popular. And you're only allowed to hunt in areas that are permitted that they give you. So, just like the small stuff, like you guys might not even know about this, that it would become such a serious like condition, but yeah, it could be like a huge impact on like what you do in your daily lives to keep you safe. So, thanks. <laughs>